In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this cubic equation by using a simple factoring method. So the very first thing what we're going to do is I want you to split this, this equation into two parts. So first part and this is second part. Now the next thing what I want you to do is in the first part, do you see what is in common among this pair? So between this pair, what is in common? This is common is going to be what? 4x squared, that is correct. Once it is in common, you bring it outside. And what's going to be inside parentheses? That's going to be 3x minus 7. Likewise, you see in the second pair, do you see anything in common? There's nothing in common. If there's nothing in common, you just simply put down 1 with a negative sign. So what is going to be inside? Then it's going to be a 3x minus 7 and that is equal to what? 0. Now the next thing, I want you to look at these things. This parentheses and these parentheses, they are same, isn't it? I want you to bring it outside. Just put it over here. 3x minus 7 outside and I want you to put down this 4x square minus 1 inside this parenthesis. 4x square minus 1 equal to 0. The next step is this one. I want you to pay attention on this parenthesis. We need to take care of this one. I want you to put down this 4x square right up here. 4x square minus 1. Now you can see 4x squared, 4 could be written as 2 squared, so this could be written as 2x and then power 2, and then 1 could be written as 1 squared. So you see this thing, we got a difference of 2 squares, I want you to use this formula right up here. So this could be written as what? 2x minus 1 times 2x plus what? 1. So let's go ahead and put down right up here everything now. So 3x minus 7 times 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 and equals to 0. Now we see that we have a 3 factored parts and they are equal to 0, you can split them up easily. So I can write 3x minus 7 equal to 0. The next is what? 2x minus 1 equal to 0. And finally, 2x plus 1 equal to what? 0. Let's take care of the first equation. I want you to add 7 on both sides. What happened? This is gone. So we got 3x equal to 7, divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be how much? 7 third. So one of the solutions is 7 third. Here I want you to add 1 on both sides. So this is gone. So we got 2x equals to 1, divide both sides by 2. So x turns out to be how much? 1 over 2. And finally, on this case, over here, I want you to subtract 1 from both sides. This is gone. So you got 2x equal to negative 1. I want you to divide both sides by 2. So x turns out to be what? Negative 1 over 2. So thus, our solution set turns out to be thus our solution set is what 7 third then we have a 1 over 2 and then we have what negative 1 over 2 and that is our answer the next step is we want to check our answer the checking our answer is pretty simple let me show you an easy way I want you to get these, whatever you got, three solutions, I want you to add them up. I want you to write down 7 over 3 
plus 1 over 2 m plus negative 1 over 2 and I want you to see whether it is equal to minus b over a now you might be wondering what is a b so this part over here this 12 is your a this negative 28 is your b this is your c and this is your what d part so that means minus b over a is going to be a simply what negative and then your b is what negative 28 divided by a is how much 12 isn't it so now negative and negative become positive 28 over 12 if you reduce it if you divide both sides by what 4 and divided by 4 that's gonna give you what 7 over what 3 so that means over here so this must be equal to this minus b over a turns out to be what 7 over 3 now we wanna see this thing is the left hand side is also equal to this one now what I can see right now on the left hand side this negative 1 over 2 and positive 1 over 2 they are gone so on the left hand side is 7 over 3 as well as you can see that the left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side that means we check our answer that means our solutions are correct thanks for watching and subscribing